Hey there guys, Redtail Ray. Thanks for tuning in. Shop update, shop build, number whatever it is again. I'll look when I post it, but I hung some stuff up on the pegboards today. Some of my most used tools. I got plenty of hangers left. Um, still trying to figure out if I want to do the bench grinder and the drill press over here, the dirty tools, or if I want to move this shelf over, or this uh, toolbox over to this wall and then hang like I used to have, hang my uh, my small uh, opening ratchet set above it. The only reason I say that is when I come in here and need to access tools, it unlocks as it opens, so then I can access the drawers. But it sucks having that thing open and trying to access the light switch. So it wasn't originally designed to go there. I was thinking doing like a rolling flip top kind of uh, workbench with some tools on it. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to go that way. It's going to be a, another project for another day, but everything's coming together. I got some artwork coming up. I got my uh, original multicam colored inspired American flag that I did. That's my painting I did. I got my original sketches. The original sketches for the first holster I wanted to do and for the um, school project I was doing at that time. Look how silly I was, thinking that metal clips were going to be super cool. Stupid metal clips. I got power cords and string and tape and clamps and uh, thermometer, gloves, uh, headphones, just some miscellaneous stuff hung up now. We've got plenty of modular space to still utilize that pegboard. I'm thinking now that that hole up in the corner that I did, um, it's just going to get plugged up. I'm going to cut it off and plug it up for now. Because I don't think I'm gonna have the money this winter to do a, a sort of or you know a, a dedicated 220 power heater there. Now now that I have the pegboard here, now that I'm you know remaining flexible and remaining fluid with a workshop build, I'm thinking that a small 110 or you know 120 underneath a workbench will be just fine. Um, I also have a whole lot of wall space here in this 13 by 10 uh, workshop. 13 by 11 whatever whole lot of wall space over here i'm not going to hang those shelves back up but i am thinking i was going to do a maybe an l-shaped workbench or a longer workbench where i can still utilize about three or four feet of standing room this way but i was also thinking the gun cabinet that i got could go in that corner and then a four foot workbench fits perfectly between here and there with two inches to spare before the safe comes. Just got word safe is going to be coming in the next hopefully 30 days. Uh, nice freebie from the neighbor. And I was able to, to hang up these couple shelves besides the artwork. I put all my old grandpa's tools and a picture of my grandpa up above the door on that nice stainless steel brush shelf. It also helps kind of keep the heat in from escaping right away. I put in the smaller one, this thinner profile. These are just cheapy IKEA stainless, whatever. I used wall anchors for both of these ones, and then wall anchors on the right side for this one. Um, but this one, if you remember, I put in a four by four after the two by four for the framing of that door, and it sunk right in. So that shelf's never moving with three and a half inch screws. With 75 pound wall anchors on the top and the bottom of that guy. Look at all the tools I got up there. I should hang up. I got wrenches and I got drills, hand drills and, and some other stuff I should really, and some bolts of my grandpa's that I would love to hang up. And that's a picture of my grandma. So anyways, I also found um, just recently in the last few days, I found this picture or this authentic copy. Get the reflection out of there. An authentic copy shrunk down one page of the Constitution of the United States. So... That was just kind of badass. It looked like somebody had it folded up and carried it around for a long time. It's really weathered. And I just thought that was super cool. I couldn't pass it up. It was at a thrift store for less than 10 bucks. And I was like, dude, that needs to go in the shop. So there's a shop update for today. I'll see you guys in the next video.